so thankful for the opportunity to share a few words about her today. When I received the news that Miss Leslie passed, I was overwhelmed with sadness. I immediately texted my friends and former classmates to tell them the news, and together we began to remember and share some of our fondest memories with Miss Leslie, like how she was able to structure lessons around some of our favorite movies, or plan what has to have been one of the most elaborate brownie sales Connelly has ever seen, or even the moments as simple as her playing great songs for us to sing together at the end of class. Her classroom was always filled with so much joy, laughter, and love. It was a place where we learned about our faith, who we were, and what we stood for. It was a place where we could truly be ourselves. So as I prepared a few words to share about her today, I didn't even know where to begin. How could I honor a woman who made such an impact on my close friends in my life? But as I continued to reflect on my time here at Connolly and my time with Miss Leslie, I realized that there were two lessons that she always circled back to, both implicitly and explicitly, faith and friendship. My sophomore year, Miss Leslie planned our sophomore retreat, and she did not take the responsibility lightly. The theme of our, of our retreat was friendship, and just like her classroom, she filled the days with joy, laughter, and love. Towards the end of the retreat, she shared a story with us about some of the most challenging and heartbreaking times of her life, and how without her friends and her faith, she doubted whether or not she would have made it to the other side. It was a story that I've always carried with me, in the hope that I could be there for my friends in their times of need, and that I would have friends to be there in mine. Um, funny enough, my friend Janine kept a prayer that she gave us to take home, and it reads, God of friendship, thank you for my friends, especially those who gave me wise advice. Thank you for my closest friends whom I see every day, who motivate me to grow and serve. Thank you for all the good friends whom I used to see more often, but don't see as much anymore. Lord, please continue to bless me with faithful friends throughout my life and help me to be a better friend to them. Amen. As I stand here today, back at Connolly, I am saddened by the loss of Miss Leslie, but comforted knowing that I have some of my best and closest friends here beside me. I would like to think that Miss Leslie is smiling down on us, proud of the women that we have become, and proud of the strength of our friendships we have created. I know that my friends, classmates, and all her former students will carry on the lessons that she instilled in us. That with strong faith and good friends, nothing is out of our reach. And I speak on behalf of my classmates that are here today when I say that your Coley Pokies love you, will never forget you, and cannot thank you enough. My name is Sarah Ortiz, class of 2018. Today we honor a beautiful soul. She was a teacher, a mentor, and most importantly, she was a friend. When I shadowed here, I was paired with an upperclassman and spent the whole day with her. And as fate should have it, I got to meet Miss Lizzie in the last block. The way she carried herself in class so passionately, filled with knowledge, love, and humor. It was in her class that I realized Conrad was the place for me. My freshman year was very difficult academically. At the end of the first semester, I wanted to go up give up and go to public school instead. Miss Leslie told me that quitting wasn't an option. I told her that everyone was so ahead of me, it was intimidating and unsettling. I felt so out of place. She told me right now, F's and D's are your best. Next year, D's and C's will be your best, and you'll continue to work hard and look forward. She constantly reminded me that nobody was gonna do the work for me, and if I just worked hard to fix the mistakes I had made, I get to have the red roses and the white dress, just like everyone else. Semester two of my freshman year, she introduced me to Steph. She was supposed to be just my tutor, but she became my sister as well. She was a junior at the time, and they became my little family on campus. They both constantly encouraged me <coughs> to reach my goals, and together we got to my senior year. I had retaken all my classes, and my transcript was finally filled with the grades I was proud of. I got there because she believed in me. She reminded me all the time that I was able to achieve anything if I had just believed in myself and worked hard. She convinced me to go to college even though I didn't want to. I took all of her words of encouragement, discipline, and love with me, and I survived my first year with good grades. She made me a whole new student academically. Everything I do from here on out will be in her honor. There's a quote by St. Francis of Assisi that says, start by doing what's necessary, then do what's, impos do, then do what's possible, and suddenly you're doing the impossible. 
These words sum up everything Ms. Lovey did and said for me and how impossible things can be accomplished, starting with the smallest steps. So to Ms. Leslie, thank you for believing in me and giving me a village of people who believe in me now too. Today we celebrate the beautiful life of Miss Leslie. When I first met Miss Leslie, one of my first impressions of her was her smile. Her smile would light up any room she was in. Her smile would make me feel at peace despite any internal conflictions I was having in that moment. Further than what the eye could see, I saw a compassionate, intelligent, and inspiring woman. Throughout my high school career and my college career, Miss Leslie has been a role model for me. From the day I was a young freshman girl at Connolly, I felt like a baby bird underneath Miss Leslie's wing. During my time at Connolly, I would have lunch with her very often. Our lunch conversations would range from advice on boys to advice on what and what not to do in college and onwards. Miss Leslie is one of the main reasons I chose to go to UC Riverside, and like she said, I love it. One of the things I am most grateful for is Miss Leslie introducing me to Sarah. When I first met Sarah, she was not doing well in her classes. Miss Leslie, Sarah, and I would often have lunch and talk about how Sarah could live up to her full potential. Our laughter and long conversations bonded Sarah and I as sisters. Now Sarah is in college, receiving straight A's, and could have made me and Miss Leslie any more proud. Miss Leslie has been an inspiration to me for over seven years now. When the date finally came for my graduation, she whispered in my ear that I was ready now. I saw this as the moment that I was no longer that baby bird. I have yet to meet someone as genuine and as real as Miss Leslie. Her wisdom will never leave me and will continue to guide all of us as we tackle the future. I love you, Miss Leslie. You are at peace now. Oh, 